want to talk about some of the school solutions that we can offer to different uh, school environments, both K through 12 as well as universities. Uh, within most universities, within K through 12, there's no real one solution in regards to safety and security. Every school is going to be unique. We really need to look at the different uh, features involved. Looking at a K through 12 setting, is it a high school or is it an elementary school? Also looking at the design of the school, is it an open concept versus traditional or a campus solution? So it really has to be uh, conversations at the school level with the door security solution specialist to talk about what their real needs are, what they view as a security solution, what their definitions of lockdown are, so that we can put together uh, a blended solution that might be partially electri electrified, might be partially a uh, mechanical solution, so that we can offer a true secure solution for each one of those campuses. We've got a variety of solutions here within our K-12 uh, safety security uh, pod including some of the ways that we can look at electrifying some of our exterior or interior openings. Uh, one of the things that we try to do is simplify the process of installation by incorporating the card reader with the electrified lock, as well as some of the other solutions as the, the door position switch and the request to exit. So within our integrated Wigan solution, we can offer a way to be able to present the card at the door and have access into that opening, be it interior or an exterior solution. Some of the other things that we look at are at the exterior doors themselves. One of the real challenges looking at mechanically is oftentimes if you're mounting an exit device to an opening that has a window behind it, there is a gap behind. So one of the things that we're showing off here is actually a shim kit that is built behind the rail itself. Really what that does is it, it fills in the gap between the back of the rail and the, the glass window itself. So it stops users from actually being able to use a chain or a rope and things like that to be able to tie that door closed. Other ways that Asahabla is looking to simplify the installation process is we're incorporating technologies such as power over ethernet. That technology has been used in security environments in the past, but now we're really trying to pull it into our locking environment. So we have from a, a power over ethernet switch, a cable, CAT5, CAT6 cable coming over to the door, being transferred through a hinge, and now the data and the power coming over to this lock solution. Within a school setting, there's, there's a lot of different security solutions. And again, we have to look at not just the type of school, but we have to look at the opening itself. The perimeter doors are going to have a different solution than your interior doors. And in the interior, we're looking at classrooms, obviously. But there's also large assembly areas, your gymnasiums, your libraries, your cafeterias, that might have a different security challenges versus a classroom. Also, you have to look at the administrative areas with your offices, as well as mechanical and the back of house spaces. So each one of those different types of, of openings within your school may have a different security solution. One of the solutions that we offer is a local lockdown capabilities. With this solution, what that allows is to be able to have access during a norm, normal day-to-day -day opportunities with the passage set, which allows teachers and students to come and go from their classroom environments. But with this electrified solution, teachers can be issued a panic fob. With this panic fob, by holding the button down, the teachers from inside the classroom, up to 75 feet away, can now lock that classroom down. And with this LED light, there's a visual signal allowing the teachers to see that that lock has now gone into a locked mode, a secured mode, so they know that their classroom is safe. Within the K-12 environment, again, because it's such a unique setting, what we have put together is a formal program that we can actually go and sit down and speak with different schools, including the risk management from the district level, the facilities directors from those levels, from the principals, assistant principals, and also once we try to start to look at the processes, start to look at the definitions of what lockdown is, we also have to look at the cultural and the behavioral challenges that are faced within that setting. Are teachers propping doors open? Are students just letting in strangers into the door because someone knocks on the outside door? Uh, at the playground level at an elementary school, is that door being propped open just to allow students to come and go from the, the playground setting because it's easier? So, there's always been an open concept, there's always been an inviting concept within schools to allow to really uh, promote and bolster that, uh, that learning environment, but we're starting to see a swing now to more of a secure environment. So schools really have to look and, and identify where the, the, that balance needs to be. And with our electrified solutions, we can actually start to incorporate some of the features from the, the secure environment as well as some of the con convenience features that they've always really uh, embraced within that, that learning environment.